prepared to jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. Cylon units across the board. It looks like they've only just started to hit Caprica City. Commander, stop those dukes from reaching atmosphere. The people down there are relying on us. We won't forsake them now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Launching Raptors. Launching Alert Vipers. I Squadron is taking fire. That's phenomenal. Hostile marks on the board. They'll try to spread us so thin that we can't cover all of their angles. We'll need to contain them as best we can. All coming in from Vergon OBC. They're requesting a private audience. Put him on speaker. Whatever he has to say, you can all hear it. Lucinda, this is... A, it was not supposed to happen like this. 
You have to understand, I never intended for them to go this far without you. You should have told me. You've sacrificed one third of the colonies, and for what? A fleeting moment of insecurity? It is one year that can be used to negotiate a lasting peace. We tried our best to make colonial fleet work. But you can't be blamed for the weakness of others. The weakness of others? <laughs> Fitting that's the last thing I should hear from you. Cut the call, Lieutenant. This traitor has taken enough of our time. Incoming! Incoming! Squadron has gone dark. Minerva is taking damage. Manticore is taking damage. More contacts. Commander, this isn't going to be the last either. The signal patterns are the same as every other mass troop movement we've seen.
Get him, get him! Incoming! Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. Cylon units across the board. It looks like they've only just started to hit Caprica City. Commander, stop those nukes from reaching atmosphere. The people down there are relying on us. We won't forsake them now. Launching alert vipers. Launching sweepers. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. On it, Commander. people 
Yes, sir. On it, Commander. Action station, action station, this is Fighter Squadron is taking fire. Set condition one, I repeat, set condition one, this is not a drill. Dratus contact. More hostile marks on the board. They'll try to spread us so thin that we can't cover all of their angles. We'll need to contain them as best we can. We're going to make them pay. Firing on target. I have a call coming in from Vergon OBC. They're requesting a private audience. Put him on speaker. Whatever he has to say, you can all hear it. Lucinda, this is... It was not supposed to happen like this. You have to understand, I never intended for them to go this far without you. You should have told me. You've sacrificed one-third of the colonies. And for what? A fleeting moment of insecurity? It is one year that can be used to negotiate a lasting peace. We tried our best to make colonial fleet work. But you can't be blamed for the weakness of others. The weakness of others. <laughs> Fitting that's the last thing I should hear from you. Cut the call, Lieutenant. This traitor has taken enough of our time. Missile tubes prepped. Yes, Commander. Squadron target is confirmed. Yes, Commander. Yes, sir. Commander, this isn't going to be the last either. 
The signal patterns are the same as every other mass troop movement we've seen. More Dreadus contacts. I'm also receiving lots of civilian requests for evacuation coordinates. They want to jump out of the system, but the Cylons are taking down the local Idris networks. None of the civilian jump computers can handle the calculations by themselves. We can make the calculations, though, correct? It'll take time. I'll need help from somewhere. Like Clothos. Bring it up here and plot a course for Cocalus. Broadcast the jump coordinates on an open channel as soon as you have them and have the fleet prepared to jump directly after. But the Cylons will also know where they're all headed. So we'll need to make sure that we are already there waiting for them. We can't do much more for Caprica City now, but we can at least ensure anyone who was already off planet can make it to the treaty systems. Spool our FTL drives and prepare for jump.
Why is this taking so long? Lieutenant, we can use my host's processing power to filter out the non-essential orbit calculations. It will, however, require a direct interface with your jump computer. Yeah, that is not going to happen. How many civilians do you estimate can be evacuated from Caprica with your broadcast? I don't know. Assuming the embassy checkpoints and orbital stations haven't already been evacuated, depends on the amount of air traffic already out, whether anyone will enforce launch restrictions. Just give me a number, Lieutenant. Rough estimate, 200,000. Do it. Give Clothos access to whatever it needs. Better that we save 200,000 than all wait here to die. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. Cylon units across the board. It looks like they've only just started to hit Caprica City.
Commander, stop those dukes from reaching atmosphere. The people down there are relying on us. We won't forsake them now. Yes, sir. Understood. Launching fighters! Yes, Commander. Deploying countermeasures. Yes, sir. Weapon three, prepare for engagement. On it, Commander. Understood. Weapons free and by the numbers, folks. Understood. Understood. Open racks and engage. Fighter squadron is taking fire. More engaged. Greatest contact. More hostile marks on the board. They'll try to spread us so thin that we can't cover all of their angles. We'll need to contain them as best we can. Kane, I have a call coming in from Vergon OBC. 
They're requesting a private audience. Put him on speaker. Whatever he has to say, you can all hear it. Lucinda, this is... A, it was not supposed to happen like this. You have to understand, I never intended for them to go this far without you. You should have told me. You've sacrificed one third of the colonies. And for what? A fleeting moment of insecurity? It is one year that can be used to negotiate a lasting peace. We tried our best to make colonial fleet work. But you can't be blamed for the weakness of others. The weakness of others? <laughs> Fitting that's the last thing I should hear from you. Cut the call, Lieutenant. This traitor has taken enough of our time. So say we all. Missiles incoming! Sir. Squadron has gone dark. Yes, sir. Missile tubes prepped. Say we all. isn't going to be the last either. The signal patterns are the same as every other mass troop movement we've seen.
Drop by point two three. Fire. Fire on target. Target spotted. More Dreadus contacts. I'm also receiving lots of civilian requests for evacuation coordinates. They want to jump out of the system, but the Cylons are taking down the local Idris networks. None of the civilian jump computers can handle the calculations by themselves. We can make the calculations, though, correct? It'll take time. I'll need help from somewhere. Like Clothos. Bring it up here and plot a course for Cocalus. Broadcast the jump coordinates on an open channel as soon as you have them, and have the fleet prepared to jump directly after. But the Cylons will also know where they're all headed. So we'll need to make sure that we are already there waiting for them. We can't do much more for Caprica City now, but we can at least ensure anyone who was already off-planet can make it to the treaty systems. Spool our FTL drives, and prepare for jump. Is this taking so long? Lieutenant, we can use my host's processing power to filter out the non-essential orbit calculations. It will, however, require a direct interface with your jump computer. Yeah, that is not going to happen. How many civilians do you estimate can be evacuated from Caprico with your broadcast? I don't know. Assuming the embassy checkpoints and orbital stations haven't already been evacuated, depends on the amount of air traffic already out, whether anyone will enforce launch restrictions. Just give me a number, Lieutenant. Rough estimate, 200,000. Do it. Give Clothos access to whatever it needs. Better that we save 200,000 than all wait here to die.
Missiles incoming! Adamant is taking damage. That's your mark, Captain. We're gonna have an effective to let's all get Hostile unit identified. Calculation complete with 98.72% correctional bias. Broadcasting coordinates now. Stragglers are almost done spooling. Prepare for jump in 20. Yes, sir. Jumping 12. 11. Lena, we've got a problem over here. We can't come with you. 9. 8. What? Galactica, repeat. I didn't hear that right. You heard properly. We've got problems with our FTL computer. I think the Cylons have got into it somehow, and Tech can't flush them out. We can't make the jump. No, 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 no. Sam, fix it. You have to come with us. We can wait. I'm sorry, Lena. You need to go. We'll catch up. Jumping in four, three... Sam, don't leave me again! I love you. Jumping fleet. On it, Commander. Prepare for engagement. Weapons free and by the numbers, folks. Open racks and engage. Check your solutions before engaging. Intercepting! Mark, incoming on priority one. Not today, Tin Can. Go, go, go! Take the, take the pounding, sir. I'm inbound on your starboard. Send a high ten. Escort clear zone intact. Priority one is in safe hands. Turkey, right three, lower five. I'm committing. Adjusting shot by point two three. Fire. Firing on target. Target locked and firing. Grifter! On 
Your mark, Captain. We're gonna hammer the frackers till they can't get back up. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. The broadcast of the evacuation coordinates was not subtle. Cylon Command will already be aware of our plan. You can't... You, you can't leave Galactica back there. They'll die if we don't... They're soldiers, Lieutenant, and they will do what they must. Our priority is the safety of the civilians we've promised to protect. Clothos, will Lachesis continue to pursue any civilians outside of Helios Alpha? I do not know. It would not match their mandate. But then neither does politicking for a partial ceasefire. My risk analysis models are uncertain. It would be a massacre without us. I won't risk their safety. We will stay and protect the refugees that come to Cocalus. After that, we'll see Daedalus to safety. I expect Lachesis will continue to hunt us after this. So, we run to Ragnar, farther away from Caprica. We'll find out firsthand what the interference from the storm clouds will do to Clothos. Do not worry about me, Lieutenant. I have already made preparations in the event that we have to traverse the storms of the gas giant Ragnar. The objective is sound, Admiral. Good. Prepare coordinates to Scorpia for the refugees and then plot our jump to Ragnar. We go as soon as we've seen the last civilian safely from Cocalus. The broadcast of the evacuation coordinates was not subtle. Cylon Command will already be aware of our plan. You can't... You, you can't leave Galactica back there. They'll die if we don't... They're soldiers, Lieutenant, and they will do what they must. Our priority is the safety of the civilians we've promised to protect. Clothos, will Lachesis continue to pursue any civilians outside of Helios Alpha? I do not know. It would not match their mandate. But then neither does politicking for...